I just arrived back in this beautiful north this morning and it is a pleasure to begin my tour of your division here in Nasabu village. I know every Fijian living in Nasabu and anywhere in Bua remembers that devastation of a superstorm cyclone Winston. To this day, it remains the strongest ever storm to strike on our side of the equator. Whole buildings were ripped to the ground, livelihoods were washed away, lives were lost. In some areas, there wasn't a leaf left on a tree, if any trees were left standing at all. When Winston struck, your children were among the many who watched their school, a place they had known as their home reduced to a ruin overnight. The sad fact of the matter is that the 90 district school was never built to withstand, withstand sorry, <coughs> a storm like Winston. Most schools in Fiji at that time were constructed decades ago and almost none adhered to building codes. <coughs> in Winston's aftermath, we knew we could never risk such uh, devastation again. Day by day, we gave meaning to our railing cry stronger than Winston by fulfilling our promise to build back better, putting in the time and resources to rebuild in line with cyclone resilient standards. We never gave up, even in the face of new cyclones like Kenny, Josie, and uh, Gita, and more recently Cyclone Sarai, Tino, and Harold. Each new storm have endured as only fortified our resolve to build the resilience of Fijian communities. Seeing the smiles in the Sabu village, I know every dollar spent and every day of hard work is well worth it. For more than two years now, the new $1.1 million 90 district school has been a home that its students can count on. Every building, including the dining hall, hostel, teachers' quarters, and school block has been rebuilt to withstand the winds of future storms as part of our national commitment to rebuild, bet, rebuild better. While the doors of this new school have been open for some time, I am grateful that you have asked me to celebrate this development for your communities. But I am not only here to open this new school, I am here to spend time with your community. I am here to understand the obstacles you face, and I am here to learn about how you can work with your government to achieve your community's greatest aspirations for yourselves and most importantly for your children. I have never led a government that is content with making all of its decisions sitting in offices in Suva. Since day one, I have uh, years, uh, since day one, our years have been open to our people. We listen to your ideas, we take on your concerns, but we do not stop there. We do more than just listen. We deliver development that changes lives for better. And more often than not, we make those decisions here directly in the communities we committed to serve. And